Hi, I'm Gregor Friday. Let's make some music. Let's take a look under the hood of my song, Newcastle. So this is just a, it's a little one minute long funky thing. Let's have a bit of a look at what's going on in here. The main driving force of the song is this bass riff. I combine that with some superior drummer drums. It's the New York Avatar kit in mono funk preset. All right, so drums and bass together sounds like this. And then on my bus, I've got an EQ digging out a bit of this bit of this mid. Just takes out some of that congestion. I've got a compressor. So the compressor's got quite a fast attack and a slow release. Ratio is 3.7. This is just to, to even it out a little bit, just to even out that playing. And then I've got a second EQ on there, really shaping the tone. So without that, which is a great sound for rock, but for this funky song, I needed to really take out a lot of that stuff. So up in this high range is that like click clack from my inconsistent bass playing. This frequency was still bothering me. And then I, I took out some of this low range to try and even out the balance between the lows and the highs. I've got this little whirly. This is a stock logic plugin. I wanted to add some horns in there. I've got this Spitfire Audio Labs plugins. They're free. Sounds a little bit orchestral. Uh, probably has more to do with my arrangement than anything else. But what I did then is I blended it with brass from Logic, which sen sounds more synthetic. Doesn't sound nearly as good, but you put them together. It gave me a bit more of what I was looking for. Yep, there's a guitar in here. Got the the Slate THU with the funky dry rhythm preset that I've tweaked a bit. I've added a bit of reverb to it. Some Latin percussion down here. These are logic loops. So that's panned a little bit to the left. So the reason I panned it a little bit, I think of things in the sense of your drums and your bass have to be centered. Otherwise the whole spectrum sounds really unbalanced. But everything else, if it's a, if it's a focus, it should be in the middle. If there's multiples of the same thing happening, we'll put them to the sides. In this case, there's only one bit of percussion at this point. Later, there's a second bit that comes in. Le leave a little bit of space for the things that I wanted focus to be drawn to. But towards the end of the song, it gets busier where this second bit of percussion comes in. That's panned on the other side. It's a little bit lower and a little bit further out because when, it, when I made it symmetrical, it sounded really strange when there was just one. So one's a little bit in and one's a bit further out. And they sound like this together. Just adds a bit of that, bit of that vibe. All right, so besides that, I recorded some vocals, vocal percussion. 
vocal harmonies. I added a bit of this high end up here just for breath and then there's some frequencies that were building up like here. And then up here. That's just a frequency that in my voice is quite strong. So then when I had six, seven, eight voices, it just really built up. So I just got it out of there, got it out of the way of everything else. What else have we got in the song? So towards the end of the song, we've got some claps. If you want to see the real-time writing process, then head over to my channel. It's all there. So that's all the ingredients that have gone into this song. So let's have a look at the whole song. I hope you enjoy it. So that was Newcastle. Thanks for watching. If there's anything that you'd like to see, uh, if there's any more detail you want to know about, just hit me up. Happy to answer any questions. Happy to refine the content. Whatever you've got as feedback, I'm all ears. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, or head over to my Patreon page for more content. Until next time, stay creative and keep creating.